All right. So the demand for older uh, Navy based cargo planes surges after the Navy stand down of, of the Osprey fleet. And we, so we just got done talking about the 30 minute uh, handcuffs on the <clears throat> Osprey and how it would affect things operationally. And for the Navy, it's a big deal because they've chose the Osprey to take the uh, spot of the C2, which was the basically the carrier replenishment aircraft, <clears throat> twin engine turboprop they've been using for many years. So there's one squadron left. There's 15 airplanes and it's in the uh, Naval Air Station Norfolk. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the CO, <clears throat> the skipper over there is uh, Tweedledum, which is awesome. Uh, call sign. What kind of scares me is though, they, they've, so they have, uh, the plan was 2026 to decom these last 15 uh, C2s. And having been in a squadron that was decom, so as in the Navy, VFA 125, the Legacy Hornet training squadron on the West Coast, we, we got uh, shut down <clears throat> and the, the last I was there the last two years and the money kind of runs out and you know this is planned out beforehand so now this the the Osprey is down the East Coast C2s are basically taking care of global logistics when usually they used to have a West Coast uh, C2 operation as well and they would share the globe if you will now the now the guys in Norfolk are doing it <clears throat> uh, all themselves with 15 airplanes and these are older airplanes that were earmarked to be uh you know uh taken out of service so it doesn't say in the article but i wonder if they've <clears throat> increased the funding because like i said when we were standing down the hornet rag the money was drying up and you could definitely see it in the readiness of the airplanes it wasn't so much of a safety issue because we were schoolhouse not operational but when you're talking there's real world real world stuff going on now so I think the COD mission is probably even, you know, more important, not that it ever was not important. And I just hope that the <clears throat> men and women uh, that are operating maintainers, pilots, everybody who are operating those, those airplanes are getting the parts funding they need to, to operate those airplanes safely. Cause I know they're old and I know they're probably working them harder than, than the plan was. Uh, Cause you can't plan for, something like this to happen with the Osprey. And <clears throat> typically, you know, the, the money spigot isn't flowing very well towards the end of an aircraft's uh, lifespan, at least, at least the way the government does it. So, but uh, my hat's off to them. Um, you know, the COD, <clears throat> you know, as a, <laughs> when I was flying in a jet, I didn't, uh, envy the cod guys but you know when i saw how they lived on deployment there was a little bit of envy <laughs> so they never spent any night any nights on the boat i don't think they ever did any night traps and <clears throat> they seemed to have more smiles than i did so but yeah i don't know what do you think mover i rode on the cod once you did <laughs> you blessed it with your presence yeah i rode on the cod <laughs> once that's probably why they're shutting down is I wrote <laughs> yeah, on that I as, as a result of that. Oh yeah. man. So it's just like everything else, dude. We just yeah, talked yeah. about this. <laughs> we, we, we are, we're in a square corner. You know, we keep backing ourselves up and our replacements suck. And then the old thing is old. And then we got rid of a whole bunch. And now <laughs> what? Yeah. I, <clears throat> you know, I'm actually shocked the Navy picked the Osprey to replace the C2. I mean, I, it, it, like, what could be more simpler and cheaper to operate than a twin engine turboprop airplane? You know, instead well, of this we complicated. Wombat, we talk about that, but Wombat refused. <clears throat> well, yeah, he has other He's obligations. He's mad at you. He's mad at you, probably. He's mad at you. <laughs> yeah. He's mad at you. But, but I, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. And you know, you can't put an F-35 engine in the, uh, in the Osprey. I mean, there's, it's, I don't know. Like you said, it's like the replacements kind of suck. And I just, I don't know. It's just, uh, well, I guess I mean, mailbags are canceled. So you can't, no well, more mail for Gonky, no more care packages. Dude, they built a gazillion dollar aircraft carrier so they can have wires and an LSO pad. And so your plane can have a hook and land. Just build another freaking twin engine turboprop we already have the ship that can handle it 
you know, like <clears throat> why you got to mess around with, you know, I don't know, tilt rotor. Money. Oh yeah. <laughs> Money. <laughs> 